is the feature attraction of the evening, 15 rounds from Sacramento, California, weighing 221 and a half, wearing purple trunks, the former heavyweight champion, Max Bear. From Orange, New Jersey, weighing 244 and a half, wearing black trunks, the colorful, popular, always thrill-providing youngster, Tony Galento. All right, Joe. Now, would you talk right into this? All right. So hold it, would you? Now, talk right into it. Right in close, close. Now, are you gentlemen acquainted with the boxing rules of the state of New Jersey? Is there any questions? Well, I'll tell you, this. I don't want to, I don't need any questions, but uh, I don't want to, I want to fight a clean fight, and if that first time gets rough, I'm going to get twice as rough. All right, boy. Hey, listen, Joe. There's no pulling in on hitting, is that right? That's I mean, right. Okay. That's all up to the referee. Come, uh, no, wait a minute. Come out fighting. Any knockdowns, <laughs> any murder corners. No kidney punches, no rabbit punches. When I pay to break, both break, clean and back up. Is that clear? Now, wait a minute. Okay. And all foul tactics are scored against the same as a bench point, and the fight don't end in a foul. Okay. 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 for tonight, they're 222. That's a lot of beef. If Galeno wins tonight, there's a good chance he'll get another crack at Joe Lewis's heavyweight title. In his first fight with Joe the year before, Leno lost but surprised everyone by knocking Lewis down. End of round one. Round two of this battle between two-ton Tony Galano and Maxi Bear. Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City, New Jersey. 33,000 fight fans here tonight. Neither of these men cares much about the science of boxing. Bear depends mostly on a clubbing right. Galetto's chief stock and trade is his rushing, roughing, and wild swinging. End of round two. In the third round, both men slug away. Two-ton Tony faces Max Bear in Galento's home territory. Well, get in now, get out with it. 
Tony's a tough customer and called Bear a big bump. Bear called Tony a few things too. Now round four. Maxi Bear is a real old timer. He's been fighting professionally for 11 years. He's had 74 fights, won 59, 48 by knockout. Back in 1934, Maxie won the heavyweight championship from Primo Carnera, but he lost it a year later to Jimmy Braddock, the Cinderella man. The crowd's booing Galetto. Tony really charged Bear with that butting. End of round four. Round five. Bear has one of the truly great right hands in ring history. And he loves to throw it. Galeno's face is badly chopped up. This is one of the worst beatings he's ever taken. End of round five. And Mr. Bear presents his compliments to Mr. Galeno. Round six. Bear hasn't been in such good condition in a long time. He's really serious about this fight.
Galetto's very tired. But he won't quit. Not Galetto. End of round six. Now round seven, two-ton Tony Galetto and former heavyweight champion Maxie Bear. Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey City. No defense whatsoever. He walks right into Bear wide open, and Maxie keeps cutting him to pieces with counter punches. Bear can't figure out what's holding Galeno up. Bear has hit him with every punch in the book. The bell ends round seven, just in time to save Tony from a knockout. Round eight coming up. But Galetto's handlers won't let him come out. He's taken an awful beating. It's all over. Maxi Bear, the winner by a TKO in the eighth round. What do you really think was the hardest blow that you hit him? Left hook, I think, in the mouth when he cut his cut his mouth up a little bit. I really think you cut him about an inch and a half there. You'll have a hard time eating spaghetti now. Take you think away, you're kidding? Uh, Max, um, why why does Galetto go around calling everybody bums? Reflecting his own condition. Huh? Reflect. Reflecting his own condition. Yeah. Well, you know, for two and a half years, Max, a lot of people have been calling me a bad boy. Tonight, brother, you take it. You're a bad boy. Thank you. And so are you. I'll say Joe, uh, Joe's proven that in his last... Eight or ten fights, he's a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tough boy. Joe, um, would you really like to meet Max again? I, w I would like to. We're very good friends, though, but I'd like to meet him. This? You think, Rapsky, do you sure. think you'll meet him in September? I think so. Well, the way he fought tonight, I really think you two boys have got an engagement in September. Well, that would go a lot of dough, too, Joe. Well, I should I hope think Max proof tonight. Joe, Joe buy another, about another 50 horses, riding horses. Joe. Joe. One thing Max proved yeah. tonight, he can Have still punch. He can not only punch, but he can still take it. Max he can up a terrific punch. fight listen, tonight. Listen. And that Ham Fisher is trying to match Palooka now. <laughs> See what that? <laughs> hey, that's one guy who can make win on that, uh, that sheet, but not in the ring, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. I'm going to come down and ride those horses. No, man. Uh, all right. I right. think it was a very listen, good fight tonight. Uh, it was a lovely fight. You did, huh? Well, that's right.